Hey everyone, welcome to Mondays on the Real Revolution. Um, this week we are talking about whether or not we think it's possible to practice self love and acceptance while losing weight. So, as you all know, we here at the Real Revolution are fierce defenders of、um, this concept of health at every size. What I think a lot of fat people don't realize is that this doesn't mean that.、Um, We are all healthy at whatever size that we are. Health at every size is talking about fat people collectively and how, as fat people, many of us are healthy at the size that we are. But most importantly, we are trying to, we are striving to live healthy lifestyles. That's what health at every size is trying to promote. In the past, you've heard me talk about blood sugar levels, uh, um, cholesterol, and Blood pressure and、um, how, as a fat person, you can you can have perfect levels, you know, these these levels that do actually that are conducive to good health or bad health.、Um, you could have perfect levels.、Um, now, in saying that, just because you have perfect levels, it doesn't mean that your body doesn't have a limit to the weight and the size that it can carry, you know, that doesn't always have to have anything to do with those levels that we're talking about. So I want to mention that because I think it's important to to kind of mention that I totally believe in 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 health at every size in in that we can be healthy, you know, and that we should strive. The most important thing is that we need to strive for health,、uh, a healthy lifestyle, no matter what size that we are. We should be active as fat people. We should be eating well as fat people. And you know what? If you're a thin person, you should be. You know, you should be. Um, active as a thin person, and you should be eating well as a thin person. I think that you know I don't want to skirt around. I don't want to skirt around the issue, and、um, you know, sit here and be and be, you know, and kind of say that we're everything's fine the way it is. We're we're all lovely, beautiful little snowflakes, and everything's just fine and dandy. Because there are health issues that we need to talk about, and I'm not saying that. A thin person can't get heart disease. What I'm just trying to say is that if you feel like th- your body is not working the way it should, if you are feeling like crap, then something needs to be done. And the thing is, I'm not talking about a diet or 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 you know having this mentality of I need to lose weight to feel better. But I think that things need to be done. If you feel like your knees hurt when you walk up the stairs, you should be exercising and strengthening yourself so that your knees don't hurt anymore. And you should be eating better. You know, if you know that you're feeling lethargic and gross, a lot of that has to do with the what you're eating. And if you eat better, then you feel better. And if you do end up losing a little bit of weight or losing a lot of weight because of feeling better, then it doesn't matter as long as you are feeling better. I really believe that the real revolutionaries, you know, have a lot of responsibility, and I don't want to sit here and say that everything's going to be great because you're fat. It doesn't matter if you're fat, you know. I do believe that there need it needs to be said, you know, like that 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 you know, cupcakes and pizzas are great, but you shouldn't be having it all the fucking time. It's it seems like, you know. The the most obvious thing in the world, but some people seem to think that we're trying to say that you can eat cupcakes and sweets and chocolates and drink coke and still be healthy without doing any exercise and by sitting around doing nothing all day. I think that's really complacent, and it makes us look like the way the. Public, the non-fat people see us as these people who kind of turn a blind eye to health and exercise and activity and you know and everything, and it and it really really does not help the cause at all. So the moral of the story is: yes, I do believe that you can still love yourself and accept yourself and be part of the health at every, health at every size movement while losing weight. Um, I think it all depends on why you're losing the weight. I think if your weight loss is like a side effect, you know what I mean—a side effect of you getting healthier, exercising, eating well—then so be it. If you are losing the weight in an attempt to make yourself feel better, to feel more accepted in the community, to be loved by someone, then no, I think that you are on the wrong path. So you need to change your thinking. That's what I've done. 
I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to exercise. The exercise part is really difficult, but I'm eating really healthy and I'm losing weight. Am I still part of the HAS, H-A-E-S community? Yes. Yes, I am.